Hello everyone. Um, today we will see in detail the highlights of WMS stable version 3.88 released last April. Uh, let's start with GDPR security. In regards to general data protection regulation, Wildex provides uh, many features that are automatically active or that can be activated to make sure the services provided by Wildex and uh, by Wildex business partners to their end uh, customers comply with GDPR security. And the first one is SIP proxy logging. All the information about SIP registrations are now logged with default debug level. Then collaboration WMS connections logging. Uh, this means that all the information about all the information about users' logins and logouts is now written to the log. Uh, then uh, we've added uh, the possibility to use remote syslog in addition to local syslog. And uh, you can enable it uh, under the new tab added in the WMS, uh, which is called uh, Remote Syslog. And uh, uh, search for documentation uh, on the manual's uh, website, manual.wildex.com. Just search for Remote Syslog and you will find this doc, uh, which gives you some more details on how to use this. The next one, uh, all files and conference recordings are deleted after six months. Uh, so all the files exchanged uh, via collaboration or via uh, conference are removed on the, after six months from the server. Uh, we've added an option to delete CDRs, uh, chats, voicemails, and uh, call recordings. You should just go under call and uh, chat history to enable uh, this option. Uh, you will find this uh, option to delete calls, delete chats, uh, voicemails, recording, and you should um, enter the number of months after which they must be deleted. And we've added an option to delete all contacts from the phone book. Um, just go to uh, phone books and select the phone book from which you would like to erase all the contacts and uh, click on clear the new button. And then I would like to remind you that all the contacts imported uh, from Outlook are automatically deleted if not received from the uh, remote um, backend. And all the contacts previously imported from uh, a, a remote backend uh, can be deleted uh, if not received during the cron job. If you enable this option, remove existing contacts which are not received from the backend. It was always there, it was always present. I just remind you that you can use it um, to comply with GDPR uh, right to be forgotten. And we've added more information uh, uh, about GDPR. Um, security to the document called the security policy at Wildex. Um, just uh, look for this document uh, on the manual's uh, website or in Google. Here it is, privacy and GDPR security. We've added protection against uh, uh, cross-site request forgery. Uh, and it is very important to uh, Note that any web API and PBX API integration will, will stop working uh, if the domain is not added under uh, WMS settings, PBX security. This is the new tab that we've added to WMS. Uh, and in fact, starting from March uh, 2018, um, the latest version of the most popular web browsers, including um, Chrome, uh, have updated their policies and dropped support for uh, cross uh, requests. So to continue using web APIs, um, for example, hotel manager or uh, wallboard, you need to add the domain to the whitelist under this security uh, tab. So, and uh, this is explained in details in uh, web API documentation. So just search for um, web API documentation on manuals.wilex.com and uh, all the details are explained here. And regarding this new security tab and uh, um, how to add the, a domain to the whitelist. You can find more details in the document about uh, WMS settings. Um, security tab, the, there is a separate document, domain whitelist, allow origin. Uh, the next one is uh, PBX jitter buffer. Jitter buffer is now by default uh, active on the PBX side and uh, uh, it helps to improve the overall uh, quality of C trunks calls, uh, of uh, voicemails, of call recordings, and uh, it is enabled uh, by default for all um, 
the calls in adaptive mode. Uh, then we've added curl SMS sending. Uh, the possibility to send uh, SMS via HTTP without uh, a GSM media gateway. Uh, it is important to note that no GSM gateway might, must be present in WMS. No GSM gateway must be present on the devices list at all. This is a limitation, otherwise you will not be able to use it. And uh, you will find documentation uh, and a configuration example uh, in WMS settings uh, document. Fox SMS server. Here it is. Uh, one more thing I wanted to share uh, with you that the dial plan debug is now enabled by default. If you remember previously, um, you had to uh, enable the option and then you, you could disable it. Right now it's just active by default and you can go and check it any time. You don't have to remember to uh, enable it. Uh, the next one, uh, TTS in dial plan. Uh, in dial plan applications guide, um, there is uh, more information about using TTS feature text-to-speech feature in dial plan. And uh, with this WMS version, we've added the possibility to choose the voice. Um, just remember to set the language first, then you can um, set text-to-speech voice. And uh, this voice uh, uh, should be present, of course, uh, uh, in sounds menu. You can consult uh, the list of voices for each language, and you can uh, just enter the, the name of this voice. And we've added the possibility to assign phones uh, before uh, provisioning. And uh, this option is uh, possible when you do a um, semi-automatic uh, provisioning or uh, when you do a provisioning uh, via uh, WMP. And uh, um, I will show you how it works. It just, it's very simple. So we've uh, added a new device, a Linux phone via semi-automatic mode. We have not uh, provisioned it yet, we just added it, and right now we can assign it to user, uh, just like this. You can see the phone is not yet provisioned, but it is already assigned to a user. And uh, finally, I wanted to say that uh, uh, WPA, uh, the public announcer uh, firmware, um, is finally uh, available and you can start using um, this public announcer and uh, you can find documentation at manuals.wildex.com just search for uh, WPA and uh, uh, here you will also find um, the information on how to um, assign the, uh, the feature keys Thank you to everyone for listening and uh, please consult the um, dedicated web page uh, for uh, WMS Stable Release 3.88 and read the full changelog at wildex.com. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.